6 on your side at 10 starts now. Thanks for joining Six on Your Side. I'm Don Nelson. Our top story at 10. It's election night all over again. Voters in Boise and Caldwell went back to the polls today to weigh in on two high profile runoff elections. And it looks like a big change is coming to Boise. Preliminary incomplete results show City Council President Lauren McLean running away with it jumping out to a major lead over incumbent mayor Dave Beter. These are not the final tallies as we have a few more precincts to count, but Mayor Beter has already called McLean to congratulate her. As we told you, McLean comfortably beat Beter and several other high profile candidates, including ACHD Commission President Rebecca Arnold and former Boise Mayor Brent Coles in the general election back on November 5th. But she failed to receive the 50% plus one vote majority required by law to win the Boise mayor's race. And that's what led us to tonight's runoff, where she's well above that number. Now, moving out west to Caldwell, a similar story with a bit of a different twist. Former Republican State Senator Senator John McGee facing off against Idaho Democratic Party Chairman Evangeline Beechler for a seat on the Caldwell City Council. And with all the votes counted, McGee is celebrating a comfortable victory. Unofficial results putting him up 61% to Beechler's 39%. Uh, the elephant in the room in this election for many was McGee's trouble to past. As we reported, he was forced to resign back in 2012 after a very public DUI charge and a subsequent sexual harassment accusations, after which he pleaded guilty to disturbing the peace. We spoke with McGee briefly after the final results came down, who says the voters have spoken. They want to talk about Caldwell's future and what we're going to continue to do um, for the future of Caldwell. So Hannah and I were just really humble and grateful that they um, elected us in such overwhelming fashion. In her concession statement, Beachler alluded to McGee's past, writing that she wants to make sure all of Caldwell's voices are heard and quote, we also hope that Mr. McGee will honor the second chance that the majority of voters who participated in this runoff have given him. We urge him to go above and beyond the call of duty. In order to best represent those who live here, those who have been harmed by this election and those who currently do not feel safe with his return to elected leadership. As we told you, McGee also came out on top in the November 5th election with 39% of the vote and was officially declared the winner over Beachler and incumbent Chuck Static with Beachler edging Static for second place by just three tenths of a percent. But a review of city ordinances revealed that candidates must have a majority of votes to win. That's 50% plus one. And even though for years the city has awarded elections to whoever had the most votes, even if it was less than 50%, the Idaho AG and Secretary of State's offices confirmed that the language requires a majority. Beachler requested a runoff. Static opted not to request a recount. And in the end, the voters have spoken and we're right back where we started from. To talk more about tonight's races and to help us make sense of all of this, we're joined by political analyst Dr. Jacqueline and Kettler from Boise State University. Doctor, thanks for coming in tonight to try to sort all of this out. So tonight's special election, what did you think? We talked about it earlier that it kind of paralleled what we saw in the general election as far as the separation uh, between McLean and Beter. Yeah, McLean got an early lead in the early voting and just really kept that pretty healthy margin of, of, of advantage of votes. So in the general election, of course, the library vote in the sports complex was on there as well. It was not on this one, but you feel or felt that maybe that carried over into this uh, special or enough? I mean, clearly people want to change. You know, mm -hmm. many voters do. And whether it's up, being upset at like the, those, the stadium and the library projects or the continued, you know, growth and, tr and transportation issues in the valley, clearly voters want to change. So we have a mayor, I guess a mayor elect soon, uh, McLean, with a, a somewhat of a different complexion on the city council. How do you see that playing out over the next few months? It'll be interesting, right? Like several of the city council members were pretty vocal supporters mm -hmm. of, May of, of Mayor Beter, and so how they will kind of bridge those divides moving forward will be interesting to see. Let's talk about the Caldwell City Council seat. Uh, John McGee making a comeback. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be really interesting to see how, how he does back in office, kind of what his focus is um, mm -hmm. in that position. 
All right. So uh, going forward, uh, it, it's interesting with, with the number of people that came out because you never know in a special runoff like this that's pushed into December, into the holidays, how many uh, how many numbers will show up. But it looks like uh, the people in Boise obviously have spoken, but they came out in pretty good numbers. Yeah, I mean, at least with, you know, we don't have all precincts in as of yet. Right. Last we checked, but it was looking like um, turnout was 30 percent. Um, and in Caldwell, they actually had a higher percentage of people vote in the runoff than the general election. So clearly people in the area are really interested and engaged in these mm -hmm. elections. McLean's in, Beater's soon to be out, and no one knows what um, Mayor Beater's plan B will be. Yeah, well, we'll watch and see. We'll watch and see. Thank you so much, Doctor, Thank for you. coming in tonight. All right, the turnout for the general election in Ada County in November was, as we mentioned, quite good. And while it looks like fewer people turned out to the polls, more than 12,000 people took advantage of early and absentee voting options. Both candidates and their supporters closely watching tonight's election results come in. We stopped by Mayor Beater's watch party earlier tonight. And out with us, Karen Lair joins us live from Lauren McLean's party. Hold on, I can honestly hardly hear you here because there is so much excitement at Lauren McLean's headquarters here. They're getting ready to do a champagne toast right now and she addressed the crowd just a couple minutes ago saying, the mayor just called me and said congratulations. So of course, a big cheer of excitement here from her supporters. We did talk to Mayor Beater a little bit earlier in the night as those preliminary votes were starting to come in. And again, those were entirely the absentee ballots and the early voting, almost 13,000 votes, but about 70% of those in favor of McLean. So Beater told us, you know, it's still early in the night at that point, but it doesn't look good. They weren't entirely optimistic at that point, and they said, you know what, we're not going to be sad tonight. He addressed his supporters as well and said, we're going to turn tonight into a celebration of a long and successful run that we have had. He thanked his campaign and supporters, and then McLean made the same similar announcement here saying, obviously, the people of Boise have come out and voted for change, and they want new leadership, and here's a listen of what they both had to say just a little bit earlier tonight. If the results keep going in our favor, we will be getting right to work. But right now I'm going to relish where we're at and, and watch um, with interest the results as they come through. And I want to just thank the community and everyone. As you can see, there are so many people here have worked so hard because there's such a commitment to the city and a recognition that we're, we're at a crossroads. And really proud of all the work that everybody's done here uh, and the effort that we put in in the, in the interim. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna wait and see, uh, but those are you know normally fairly important to the to the end result, uh, and they don't look so good. So we'll uh, we'll just see what happens and uh, stick around. So I did ask both candidates, you know, what comes next for them. I asked Mayor Beater, and at that point he said, you know, it's way too early to talk about that. He wanted to wait and see the official results here, and Lauren McLean is around here somewhere. We're going to find her for a follow-up interview now that these results have kind of officially been called for the evening. We will have more from her reaction online tonight on our website, 6 .com, and you can hear from her tomorrow morning right here on Good Morning Idaho. For now, reporting live in Boise, I'm Karen Lair, 6 on your side.